In the last webcast, we saw how propagation steps rely on reactions between odd electron radical intermediates and even electron substrates. However, these kinds of reactions are not the only possibilities when we consider the witch's brew of radical intermediates that may be present in a radical chain reaction at any given time. Another possibility is the combination of two odd electron species to form an even electron product. In fact, because such a reaction transforms two highly unstable open shell molecules to a closed shell even electron product, it is extremely favorable when run in a controlled environment such as the gas phase. In the context of radical chain mechanisms, combinations of two radical intermediates to form undesired even electron products are called termination steps because they terminate a radical's progress around the cycle of propagation. If termination steps are so favorable, why don't they dominate the reactivity of radicals? We'll resolve this conundrum shortly, but first let's look at some examples of termination steps in the context of hydrobromination. Any two radical intermediates from the propagation stage may combine in a conceivable termination step. In this first example, Br dot combines with the product of addition of Br radical to the alkene, yielding halogenated product. Because they reacted with each other, both radicals are removed from the cycle of propagation by this step. In the second example, two molecules of alkyl radical combine to give a CC coupled product. Here, substrate is consumed, but no new radical is generated, leaving some HBr unreacted. The final example is a simple coupling of two Br radicals to form elemental bromine. These three steps represent all the possible combinations of radical intermediates with one another and represent the full termination phase of radical hydrobromination. This final slide is a summary of the radical chain mechanism we've discussed in the last two webcasts. The full set of initiation, propagation, and termination steps constitute a radical mechanism. But the question remains, why don't termination type steps dominate the chemistry of radicals? Thankfully, Chemists can use the instability of radicals to their advantage by taking advantage of concentration effects. Because radicals are so short-lived, if they're generated in a sea of even electron species, they are much more likely to react with the even electron species than other radicals, which may be an unreachable distance away. Using very small amounts of initiator helps prevent termination steps from negatively affecting radical chain reactions. Often, there is a fine balance between the kinetics of propagation and termination that organic chemists must consider when deciding on the optimal concentration of a radical reaction.